Oh, zero three four stage two tune just dropped. Just got the email. I was doing breaks on my buddy uh, Denny, his GTI, and uh, got the email. So we're about to go fast. Stage two eighty five, and then tonight or tomorrow night, whichever one's better. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so whichever one this weekend we'll go out do some test runs. I think the best I got so far with stage 185 was 11.27 with a 0.60 of 3.26, which that 0.60 is better than my best time with another tune, which was 0 0.38 or 0 0.28, something like it was 0 0.02 faster with the 85 tune, but overall a little bit slower. And I think that's uh, my own fault. So we'll pull the seats out tonight and uh, well, let's just go flash this tune. All right, here we go. Click to begin. I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm so excited for this. Mostly, oh, I think I just went to the wrong thing. Now we are getting more power. It isn't a whole lot more power peak, but it's more power, um, I mean, it is more power peak, not a whole lot, but you get more power under the curve. And now I won't get a check engine light for my, uh, okay, I did hit the right thing. Engine. Just still just... What better time to wash your dirty wheels when it's about to rain? I just wanted to get out here and touch the car a little bit today. I still can't get over how much I love this car. Peep, peep the lad, Z46. Woo. Just a good butt. Nice cold start. Man, do I love this car. Excuse me for having my, my shirt off. It is humid as hell out here. But I really just want to start making videos just all the time again. I don't have a whole lot to film. So hopefully you guys will want to hang out and just bullshit with me. Man, the engine bay looking good. All that DVB, DVB2 goodness. Featuring racing line and 034. Oh yeah. Oh, and here comes the rain. Maybe we won't do this right now. You say car? Okay. Where's daddy's car? You just want to play in the puddles, huh? You're so cute. Is that daddy's car? Daddy's car. Where's mama's car? Mama's car. Mama's got a fat tire on there, huh? Look at that thing. Look at your curls. Such a pretty girl. What are you doing? It's dancing in the rain. No, no bubbles. That's yucky water. You don't want to do bubbles in that. Okay. Well. Here we go. Just got the email saying it's loaded to my account. Oh, it's updating the cable. I've never seen this before. I wonder, because eventually they're making this, so you just leave it plugged in and you have an app on your phone and you can like, uh, you can just flash from your phone and stuff. I wonder if that has something to do with it. Cause they said it would be sometime this year. That would be super sick. Stage two. Skirt. Two minutes, 20 seconds. Good morning, everybody. This is the first drive with the stage two, E85. I haven't even ran a 93 tune yet. I already had E85 in the tank. So, we're checking this one out first. Um, yeah, stage two just came out. So it's not a ton more power. I think it's like around 10 wheel horsepower uh, peak. And I think up to 15 wheel horsepower or so under the curve. 
um, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. You know, you're going from stock to stage one, you get this massive power increase, which is normal. But stage two, you normally get a little bit more, but all the tuners are, their stage two is within just a couple of horsepower and in each other. So I, they, the, to me, that means that stage one is just so efficient. And I, I'm assuming that the, you know, the down, the stock down pipe and the exhaust or, you know, that at least that portion of the exhaust is actually pretty free flowing um, to the point where get, getting an aftermarket downpipe, it's almost not worth it. Like if you're doing it, a downpipe sh for straight gains rather than sound, um, and it might actually not be worth your time. It might just be worth getting a cat back, sticking with your stock cat. That way you don't even have to ever worry about emissions or anything, honestly. Um, but that's just on paper. I don't know. We are not even a mile into this tune yet, so we will have to go out and test and uh, do some draggy runs, of course. Uh, you know, today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, so I want to get some miles on this tune, make sure everything is good and dandy before I really go beat beat on it. Uh, yeah, so far it feels great, and one thing I do notice right off the bat is that with the stage one, it kept my valves open all the time, no matter the mode. And now here, I usually, I daily the car in what Audi calls auto mode, where it just automatically adjusts, I guess, the suspension and everything, depending on how aggressive you're driving. And uh, the valves are, it, the car is much quieter. It's kind of weird. I'm so used to it just always being with the valves open, which really isn't all that loud until you step on it. but. Um, when you're creeping at like, I don't know, 15, 20 mile an hour, like through your neighborhood, um, I would have, I, I prefer it to be on the quieter side, obviously. So. Yeah, that's, that's fourth gear and then we'll put it, we got another stop light coming up. I'll just put it in dynamic. Let's see how the pops are in this actually. Oil temps up to 190 already. I'm surprised it didn't just pop right there. check engine light by now so that right there is my favorite part so far it's having that dang check engine light gone for the downpipe that makes me happy check out that fog over there too it's always super foggy over here in the mornings pretty cool mm. man who doesn't love induction noise in the morning Whew. So good. We got a one-armed lean back Mustang guy beside us. So maybe we'll get a little run here. Uh, it's gonna be fun. there. We got a red light so we can do a small pull here. Oh, she feels good. Alright guys, on my way to work and I could not avoid trying to get a shot here. Check that out. Ooh, how about that? Looking good. That is sick. All right, well, it's been about a week with the stage one E85. I'll post a clip here of one of the gappings. <laughs> Ah.
that was a good one. Really happy about that. Um, that was a 440i JB4. I don't know what else really done to it, but it was a sick race. And I uh, got a couple more coming another video and do like a compilation of all the recent uh, race videos before we leave Virginia. Um, I got about three minutes, so I got to be into work. So um, tune sick, and uh, I love it. And we're gonna switch to the 93 tune here soon and play around with that. See what kind of times we get. Got another video coming out with times on both tunes and hopefully we can crack into a 10. But uh, I need to get into work. That just looks so good. All right. Just wanted to add a little bit more to this video and talk about the 034 tune. Like I said, it's not a whole lot more power, but here we are about a week later, still no check engine light, which is awesome. I'm supposed to get rid of it and it did. Really loving the car right now. I wish I would've got a draggy run over the weekend during them races, but not a whole lot I could do about that. I'd like to strap the, the draggy on right now, but as you can see, it's 91 degrees out. There's no real point to try and go out right now and see what the car will do, because it's just too dang hot. But here soon, I will go out and do that on, the, on a cooler night, and I'll take the back seats back out again and see if we can get a, a record run. I'd really like to see if I can break my current record of 11.18 at 124. I'd like to see 10, really, 10.98 would be great at like 126. That would be awesome. I don't know if the car has it in it or not, especially with how humid and hot it's been lately out here. Being on the coast is pretty awful. And going to Texas, well, I don't know if it's gonna be much. The, the D, the static uh, altitude is way, well, not way, but higher than here. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. As for like, anything different i did notice the the pops in the tune are a little less which is actually awesome for me um some people like a lot of pops i do not like in sport mode you could just like it would have been a pop right there just a little but it'll still i'll say it just shifted but there is it's a little less poppy which is great for me i i don't like being too obnoxious but i do like driving around in, in sport mode sometimes it's just nice to be in not not necessarily in traffic but i mean it could, it, but the tune is just smooth as hell like you couldn't you you can't get any smoother than this legit it is as smooth as you could possibly ever want it to be look at this thing that's interesting things down there anyway i think that's all i got trying to get a pool for you guys down here once traffic clears up See up here in like the higher arc. Well, now I'm gonna. Oh, well, maybe I can do a launch control here. We need to stay in our own lanes. See, good thing I didn't do a pull because people are dumb. Man, I love this thing. Well guys, that's all I got for this video. Um, things to look forward to, they will be releasing phone flashing, phone logging, flex fuel in the future. Hopefully uh, your boy can get in on some beta testing of that. As we saw today, uh, Paul at Shop Dab, Paul at Shop Dab is beta testing similar things with Unitronic. So things are, I'm sure, right around the corner. And that'll be super awesome to have. I've never had flex fuel on the car ever, so I'm seriously looking forward to it. Anyway, shout out to 034 for uh, their hard work, dedication to these tunes. You can really tell they did their R&D. I am having a ball with them and uh, looking forward to testing the 93 tune as well. But that's probably what I'll daily own the most. I don't want to run E85 all the time. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip-flop.